You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. And I'm Mohammed Leela. John Muller is off today. And I'm Rena Nine, and in for Diana Perez, we begin with a monster winter storm battering the Midwest and taking aim on the Northeast. Take a look at the radar. That powerful system of Arctic air is coming out of the central plains and grabbing moisture from the Gulf of Mexico as it marches toward the East Coast. The snowstorm is already leaving its mark and will eventually affect 21 states. 2014 has begun with an extreme blast of winter weather. A huge storm has been moving across much of the country, bringing with it freezing temperatures and lots of snow. In Minneapolis, temperatures dropped to around zero. Fire crews struggled to deal with a massive blaze following an explosion at an apartment complex. Water used to fight the flames quickly turned to ice in the extreme temperatures. And in Indiana, slippery, snow-covered roads are making travel difficult for drivers. Nearly a foot of snow has already fallen in Chicago with more expected today. Residents are doing their best to dig out. It does the job. It did the steps, it did the porch, now it's doing the car. You know, you make do with what you got right now. The storm is now headed towards the East Coast and New England, where residents have been preparing for this onslaught of winter weather. New Haven, Connecticut shelters are gearing up to help those who spend much of their time on the streets. Just come here just to get my rest and stay warm. In Situate, Massachusetts, repairs have been made to a seawall that was damaged in a storm last February. The problem is the tides are just huge. They're, they're the highest that they can possibly be. And stores like this Lowe's in New Jersey are doing a brisk business as people stock up on shovels and salt to deal with the coming storm. How much you need to stock up or whether you need to stock up at all will depend on where you live. And for that, we turn to AccuWeather's Jim Dickey. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Rena and Muhammad. A storm system coming together here this morning. Uh, really two separate systems. There's an upper low that's tracking its way out of the nation's midsection. Some tropical moisture here. Some Gulf of uh, Mexico moisture uh, that's being drawn northward. You see some dry air in between keeping the two apart. That won't last. They'll come together as we head through the day. Now through the daylight hours, we'll see snow stretching from New England back on into the Ohio Valley. But the uh, true storm gets underway into the overnight. The worst conditions uh, will be from late Thursday night through early early uh, morning on Friday. Blizzard conditions, not out of the question. Boston southward into Long Island uh, with strong gusty winds near zero visibility, near whiteout conditions. That snow will be heavy in many locations. We're looking for a bullseye of over a foot of snow in around the Boston area. Rena Mohammed, back to you. All right. Thanks, Jim. This winter storm is sure to disrupt flights at several major airports. It could cause a snag for a lot of people heading home after New Year's Day. According to Flight Tracker, there are already over a thousand flights canceled in the U.S. and another 52 flights are delayed. Those numbers are sure to rise as a storm intensifies along the East Coast. And stay with ABC News for the latest on this winter storm. An update with live team coverage coming up on Good Morning America.